Okay, April 30th, 2023. Tomorrow is May 1st. And for weeks, months, I say I'm going to do this every week. I think, oh, this is what I think when I read the paper. So I'm doing it first time downstairs with Patty, but every night I read and talk with Patty. And I tell you, this world, it is crazy, especially the gun stuff. I mean, that just drives me crazy. No other country lets all these mass shootings happen. What is wrong with us it has nothing to do with independence. It has to do with crazy people, and I'm blaming it all on climate change. I think that the dinosaurs probably went crazy. We've had these cataclysmic things happen with our climate, finally. Like we, and we knew it was going to happen, but now we're feeling it, and everyone's going crazy. Um, so this is a good time to work together. But anyways, get rid of the guns. My God, it's just, it's, it's a no-brainer to me. It's a no-brainer. Okay, delicate balance on the drug policy for Washington State did not pass a drug policy. And I really wish we would learn from Oregon. You can't just get housing for people. You have to also have mental health with it to help people who are homeless um, and deal with the drugs and assistance. So whatever we do for a drug policy, I don't care what the laws are. The main thing is mental health assistance. No brainer. Okay. Okay. Um, Seattle le leaders pin hopes on Amazon's May 1st office mandate. I don't get why people don't want to return to work, but I really do hope our downtown gets filled with office people again because that will revitalize it. And if we get mental health services, do all those things, get housing, we'll, we'll all be happy. Five killed in Texas after they asked neighbors to stop shooting in his yard. Every day there's a mass shooting. That doesn't count all the shootings that happen that we don't hear about, but it's crazy. and. Our kids and wherever we go, it can happen. I remember, I think it was I was in high school. I must have been in 19. I graduated in 71. So there was a shooting at McDonald's, and I and it was like the first mass shooting, and it hadn't happened before. And I thought, wow. And now it's just like all the time. Get it together, people. And that little Trump, Trump man, all the things. He's being charged with. Finally, I hope he goes to jail. Wouldn't it be funny if he got, he was in the election while he was in jail? What? Uh, I tell you. Um, okay, drone attack sends Korea fuel depot of fire. The war with Ukraine. I tell you, poor Ukraine. They're just fighting the war for all of us. It's heading towards World War Three and. North Korea, Saudi Arabia, I mean, come on, world. The Pope meets with Ukrainian refugees on a Hungarian, Hungarian visit. Um, yay for the Pope, I tell you. And Sudan, it's just so sad what's happening all over the world. It, it's climate change. People are just fighting to stay, stay alive. And um, Oh, and then Montana, good for you, Zoe Zephyr stands up for, um, it just shows you how scared people are, that they would make a big deal out of the words that she said that, that to me were just common sense. Blood on your hands, that's not like a terrible thing to say and kick somebody out. But I mean, the extremes people are going, it's such a distraction on what we need to do, which is work together to survive. And with all the migrants, immigrants, uh, not immigrants, People fleeing climate change, war, whatever. We as a world have to figure out how to do this. Um, it's not just one country. It's a time for us to unite. Ugh, what is wrong with us human beings? Um, the Oregon Secretary of State takes fire for her marijuana job. Really, when you're in politics, one job at a time. I don't know what the marijuana job was, but... Increase in migrants overwhelm shelters in Texas, in the border city. You know, it'd be great if we could work with Canada and other countries because we are getting a lot of people that need help, um, and just have them go. You know, help everybody get to 
the countries that can take them. Um, and we all work together based on our, our resources. And we have them. And it'll give people jobs. So heck, um, and help educate people. All right. Charles' factitious family on stage at coronation. What a show. I tell you, the Queen Diana still in the news. Iowa flood fears rise as Mississippi River crests. Iowa's, you know, it's Iowa, it's Dubuque, Iowa, it's a big city, it's flooded and people are kayaking on it. Um, and four parking garages partly collapsed um, in New York. We've got a lot of work to do. And Trump's star shines despite legal travails. Grr, I mean, Jean Carroll, how brave. So glad you came forward. And as Biden runs again, frustration mounts among black voters. Oh, he's helped more than the Republicans are. And I sure understand people's frustration, but fight, you know, whatever. The Republicans just want the opposite. I don't think it really matters who runs. We just need to not have it be. I'm so, you know, I'm so biased. A Republican. Um, anybody who supports Trump should not be involved. Oh. What cheetahs, armadillos, and whales revealed about human DNA. To think that this re they even thought of doing this research and that will, um, what will we morph into after we die out like the dinosaurs did? It'll be interesting to see what this planet is like. Well, I guess that would be, what, 60,000 years from now? What, what will be? Because it was kind of pretty much a desert, I think, after the dinosaurs. There's been four um, terrible weather changes on the Earth, at least, and um, and now our planet's beautiful, um, so hopefully we're not killing it. I mean, climate change will happen. Okay, uh, the bank stuff. It's not one thing and no another. Oh, and this exhibition um, proposes alternatives to removing contentious statues. Wow, I mean, what a great idea to remove statues that represent um, people who owned slaves in the past and put it in a museum and educate people about our history. That's, it's so sad, the blocks on history and what we're, people are wanting kids not to learn the truth in schools, but a museum to show our true history. That, I think, is a brilliant idea. Uh, museum works to add context to the statue of Lincoln and free slavery. Um, I'm not sure what city it's in. Maybe it's New York. I don't know. Anyways, it's a great idea. Um, yep, as I said, we need mental health to work with drugs. Climate change. I mean, Okay. Well, that's all I think I want to say about the news. The main thing that bothers me these days is the drugs. Not the drugs. Well, the drugs, but mainly the guns. Take away the guns. Gosh. It's no, I don't get what that has to do with freedom. The abortion thing. Not wanting to abort a baby because they care about life. Well, what about the guns that kill so many people? People who don't want to have abortions believe in abortions, then they shouldn't. They should also take away the guns. To me, that that battle is is crazy. If you're not going to have abortions, save life, take away guns too. They they got to go together. Really? Come on, world. Okay. What else? Okay. That's it. all right.